hey guys and welcome to another etsy studio vlog these are some stiletto tips that i've already prepped here and i prepped them with this buffer from magpie it's a 180 to 40 grip buffer just to remove the shine off the tips because you have to do this or else the gel will not stick and i'm picking up the glitter bells white gel paint and semilax classic nude for this set so pop in the nails on my press on stands and i have my gloves on just to make sure that my hands are protected from the gel I'm going straight in with a base coat. I'm going to paint a nice even layer on every single nail and then I'm going to pop it in to the cure to the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So once those nails are out of the lamp, I'm going to go in with my nude shade. This shade is a lovely opaque color, so it covers in one coat. And I'm just making sure that I am covering it perfectly. So I'm kind of looking at the nails at every angle, making sure I didn't mess something up. Because you can always clean it up before it goes into the lamp. Once it's in the lamp and it's cured, it's fully hardened and it's stuck then. So you want to be checking all your angles, making sure there's no dips or anything like that in the nails. And then you can go on to the next part of your design. I am so excited to be back doing another Etsy, Etsy studio vlog. I haven't done one in a while, but I absolutely love doing my press on nails. So yeah, I'm excited to be back doing another video on this. So how I do my French tip, as you can see, I just start off by marking out which where I'm going to start my French on every single nail so it is even. And then I start drawing my smile line. And once I have my smile line done and I'm happy enough with it, I go in with a gel brush and I dip my brush into the gel paint and start filling in that whole French area. And I do one coat of this and then I cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then I start on the next nail while that nail is curing, I am doing my index finger here so i'm just going to show you the french process on two nails i just do the same thing on both nails but i didn't want to show the whole 10 nails because that would be really repetitive so this one is me just doing the same thing here drawing out my smile line and then filling in with the gel paint i don't know about you but there's something so satisfying about seeing a french being filled in like this i just love watching people do their Frenches and the way that they do them because everyone has different techniques a lot of people map out their French I just find that so confusing it nearly confuses me I have to just start in the middle and then just draw the smile line and work from there however one tip I do have is I would always start further down the nail than you think you need to go because if you mess up your smile line you can always just kind of bring it higher up but however, if you start too high, you can't bring it down, if you know what I mean. It's just, it takes longer and it's more wiping off the nails if you make a mistake. So yeah, I always start a little bit lower than I think I might want to go. And then you can like fill it in kind of like I'm doing here. I'm not bringing it up too much higher, but I'm just refining the smile line. Yeah, I hope you understand that. But if you have any questions about anything in this video, be sure to comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible.
So the next part is my favourite part. It's going to be the top coat and I am applying a nice generous amount of top coat here. And again, I'm using my lamp. See the line of light there on the nail. I'm using that line of light to make sure that there is no dips or bumps or anything in the nail before it goes into the lamp. So just checking at all angles and making sure that all is good before it goes into cure. And if you're enjoying this vlog, please subscribe and let me know if you sell press-ons or make press-ons or... Do you have an Etsy shop or what you sell in the Etsy shop? But yeah, so here I am. I'm just finishing off the top coat and I'm going to pop it in for 60 seconds. Sometimes I do a double cure and I will do two minutes. It does depend on your lamp and how strong your lamp is, but I often cure it for a double cure at the end just because it's the top coat and it's tying everything in together and making sure all your layers of gel polish are nice and safe. And now on to packaging up the nails. This is what I use. I have this cardstock here and I have a double sided foam sticky tape on it. So I apply the nails onto the foam backing. So this is a homemade little tool that I just you made up myself. It's a dotting tool with some blue tack stuck on top and it just makes it easy to pick up the nails and stick them onto the foam without having to touch them and get them all dirty or whatever. So I'm just wiping off anything that may be on top with a lint free wipe and it also kind of polishes up the nails for you as well. Then they're going to go from the cardstock just into this cellophane bag. So this bag fits the cardstock perfectly and I'm just going to pop it in and seal it up and it's going to be ready then to pop into the envelope. So this is the way I package my nails and it works out perfectly. Now on to the prep kit. This has nail file, cuticle pusher and nail glue in it. And it's the McCart nail glue, which is my favorite for press-ons. And then I have a thank you card and it just says, thank you gorgeous for supporting my small business. I also fill in the back with a little personalized note. And then I have a free gift. So this is another way to say thank you for the custom and support for my small business. And they all go into this pink bubble mailer here. So I'm just gonna, let you watch me packaging up this order and thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed if you got some benefit from it please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one